welcome to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Kim Cavanaugh, and I'm Lee Colbert. Today we've got a special guest star appearing with us, Lee Colbert yes. from uh, the Educational Technology Team. Yes. And uh, Lee Keller, my typical partner, is out ill today, but uh, hey. Get, get better soon. That's We can't do better than have Lee Colbert here because Lee is also clueless. I mean, no. Yes. <laughs> also used to dealing with the clueless. I mean, no. Uh, Lee, you know, you haven't been on the show before, and I know you've probably nope. watched a couple episodes, but you know, the whole idea is here, we want to make people feel comfortable. With yes, we do. We want to kind of remove that fear, and especially with adults. They, they, they get really frightened about using computers sometimes. So the whole idea behind the show is just to kind of take things nice and easy, make people feel comfortable, remind them that nothing's going to blow up or melt or otherwise uh, have any sort of tragic consequences. That's great. Uh, so that's what we're after, and we're going to actually talk today, and we'll bring up our little, uh, our little fancy PowerPoint that we like to always open our show with uh, <laughs> that shows us our objectives for today. Right. And uh, the title of today's show is Drawing on Your Experience, and we're going to be talking about drawing tools. Um, and we're going to use a particular drawing tool as we go through the um, as we go through our little lessons and, and talk about these today. But really, most of what we're talking about is is um, applicable no matter what drawing program you're using. So I know you use different types of drawing programs depending on what you want to do, and and I'm the same way. Yeah, I've used uh, Photoshop Express. I've used um, right. some uh, like discs that I've bought, you know, Printmaster, sure. Print just to draw some of... basic. Yeah, I'm and, not and very lot... creative, but yeah. sometimes I just want to do a little bit of. Put something uh, to spice something up. Maybe yes. you're going to put it in a uh, in a Word document or a PowerPoint. Yeah. I've or even or used Word to modify some images. Word has some and good and and I'm, like glad draw you, arrows. and I'm glad you bring that up because we're going to use today to demonstrate this we're going to use the free open source product that comes from openoffice.org um, and we've done a couple shows on open office here we've talked about spreadsheets mm -hmm. um, and we've also talked uh, um, a little bit about presentation software so today we're going to look at the drawing software that comes with openoffice.org right. i have and, never used open office i've uh, recommended it because it's free it is free but i have and, never used you know, it you so can't I'm really looking beat it for this. um you know in terms of of what uh, uh, the average home user or student needs at home, mm -hmm. uh, Open Office contains all the tools that we typically would need to use. So we're going to go over to the screen here, and I'm going to change to Open Office. And uh, this is a little program. They just call it Draw. Very simple. And we're going to look real Let me quickly. Guess. What are you going to do here? I'm going to draw. There you go. <laughs> exactly. And if we take a quick look around the, the interface, I usually like to kind of get my bearings before I start using a new software for the first time. Uh, in the middle of the screen, we have a, a big white area that I assume is probably just called the canvas. Okay. And that's so typical, this is your of, space. typical of most drawing programs. You're going to have a, a space that you're going to draw in. And, you know, most of these uh, buttons look very familiar. They so. do. And one of the things that Lee and I have talked about quite a few times during the show is the whole idea of tool tips. You know that if you float your mouse and let it rest over the top of a button, um, what that button is going to do for you is going to appear in a little yellow box. Right, I like that. I know you can turn that off, but I always leave that on. Right, and I'm not sure. This, this is a multiple page, obviously, document. Let's go down to one page here. So, obviously, we have our canvas. Uh, we have rulers around the edges, just like you would typically have in any kind of program what? like this. Why would you want that there, though? I find that a little well, distracting. Well, you can turn this off or on. A lot of times, and I'm not sure if this will work, but a lot of times maybe you want to have a guide. And by clicking and dragging on my ruler, I can create guides on my page. Now, these won't be seen when I print, but if I'm trying to lay something out, um, let's say I want to draw some uh, basic shapes and I want them to be in a certain uh, area of the screen, Guides allow me to control where things appear. Oh, look at that. Okay, and if you turn on the features that snap to guides, typically under view, um, we'll see guides, and you have an option to snap to guides. So let's imagine again that I'm trying to, to lay something out. And so snap uh, to guides. When I get within a few pixels of that guide, it'll actually kind jump, of pull right to, to that okay. space automatically. So you don't have to keep dragging with your mouse yeah, until you or get Yeah, or guessing, exact exactly point. right. Okay. So you can set these up ahead of time. So imagine you want to have a bunch of rectangles that were all aligned up perfectly. You could use guides to do that. But as you said, you can turn off uh, rulers mm -hmm. by just, in, uh, in most options, they're, they're just as similar as this. When you see a check box, that means it's turned on. Right? Okay. If I want to turn off my rulers, let's turn them off. Okay. 
I want to turn off my guides. Well, before you turn that off, if, um, if I want to make a multi-page document, can I save that and then on all of my pages those guides would be there? I bet you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> Have you used this before? Can I you? have not used this program right. uh, until about so 10 minutes ago. But we I've are used clueless a, today. Hey, I've used a lot, a lot of programs that are just like this. And I, nothing really here is jumping in, out and scaring me so far. So, okay, so you're clueless. I'm clueless. We're I'd all say clueless. 100% of the people in this room today are clueless, clueless about how to use this program. All right, so we're going to talk or a little just bit. You're just typically clueless. Okay. Just basically clueless. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the basics of, um, uh, of images and, and working and drawing programs. Okay. What we see up here, here now is what's called a, a shape. Okay? It's a rectangle. Uh, that was hard, right? <laughs> <laughs> but shapes can come in all sorts of different sizes and flavors. Uh -huh. They can have fills <coughs> attached flavors. to them. What is a circle? <coughs> circle Square. flavor. Excuse me. Okay. You can also do these little shapes like this where they're auto shapes like that. Okay? So just by clicking and dragging a basic shape, Very I easy. can create something. And, and, and computers are wonderful things because yes. this is basically a mathematical equation mm -hmm. that describes what this shape could be. So, and I know you don't really. I, know I was you, told there'd be no math I involved. No, I'm very sorry. And there's not, <laughs> Lee. There's no math involved. Anybody have an abacus? There's no math involved because you have these little handles. And these little handles on my shapes allow me to change them. Very easy. And get there. And basically, what's happening, the computer is recalculating the math. And that's all it's got to do. So, you can do a lot of things with these just basic shapes. For instance, you can take a shape like this and combine it with another shape. So let's say I want to have a complex shape. Uh, if I select both of these items, I've got one on top of the other, I can then go to Modify, and I can go to Shapes, and I can subtract the top shape from the bottom shape. Now, that seems weird, but look what happens. Oh, Punched a hole through nice. my shape. Now if I put this down over to the top of that one, you can see I've, I've, got, a, I've got a shape there. All right. Uh -huh. So let's look at a, a practical example of how we might want to actually use this for something. Let's say we want to create um, a, a picture frame. I can draw out a basic shape, draw another shape inside of it, or at least try to. Let me click off of here. All right. Go back to my rectangle tool. I can draw another shape just right inside of it. And then by selecting them both, I can use that command to subtract, oops, I didn't I get them both selected. Yeah, it. Okay. we get them both selected this time. There you go. So then I can take my uh, modify shapes and subtract. So you made kind of a frame. Yeah, picture frame. Very nice. Now if I want to bring in, I can actually bring in or import a uh, picture here. So I'll just click on File Import, and I know it's here somewhere. Let's see, where are we? Would it be under Open? It might be, but I don't think so. I think Open's going to give me something that I previously used. Okay. Well, we'll get back to this, or I, maybe I can just do this. Let me um, swap out my images. How about if I go over to my pictures, and I grab one of my sample pictures, uh, water lilies, and I'm going to copy it. Okay. Now, I'm right-clicking with, with my mouse, and in a second, it's going to bring up a little dialog box, and it's going to ask me what I want to do, and I want to copy it. It's my picture. And then I can go right back into my picture here, and I can paste it in place. Okay? okay, so there's really a lot you can do here. There's a lot you can do, and when we come back on the next segment, we'll talk about some more uh, detailed information about what, what kinds of things you can do with basic drawing programs like this. Great. And the kind of creative things that you can do. So come right back.